I'm sure you've just gotten a sneak peek at St. Nick. He's here joining us on Inside the Valley today. Thank you so much for coming from the North Pole, Santa. You're quite welcome. <laughs> Well, we also are joined by Maria Luisa Guerra here, and she's from the Catholic Daughters Court. Yes. Thank you so much for coming in today. Now, tell us a little bit about the Catholic Daughters Court. The Catholic Daughters is a national organization, the largest Catholic organization for women. Okay. And uh, just recently, our title was changed to the world because we uh, we uh, instituted a um, a chapter in Africa, in wow. Kenya. So we're just not just in the Americas now, we're also venturing out to the outside world. And uh, we are, we embrace spirituality as women based on the principles of Jesus Christ okay. and our faith mm -hmm. to, uh, to be the spoke people for those people that don't have a voice such as the elderly, the infirm and the unborn. And our works uh, are for the, uh, to provide um, goodwill for those that are in need. Wow, okay. uh, those people that um, that are not as fortunate as us and uh, we're a service organization we're a group of women that love to work together as volunteers uh, we learn from each other we acquire leadership skills and uh, we just uh, are also become a social group as well wow. so we have a lot of fun as well as work and uh, at the local level, uh, mm -hmm. our organization started way back in 2004. Wow. We started as uh, as little as 24 members. We're now pretty close to 90. Wow. So we're doing Amazing. good. Yes. We're doing very well. And uh, some of our projects are, and I'll mention some of the ones that people might already be familiar with, mm -hmm. like Habitat for Humanities. Mm -hmm. That's from the national and state as well. Uh, Currently, we have our state uh, region is from Edinburgh. Okay. And we're uh, they're building a home for a uh, for a family uh, near Edinburgh. Mm -hmm. So that's one of our that's projects. Amazing. We also contribute to the national uh, to the disaster relief fund, uh, the Colonias in Cameron County. That's one of our state projects. As at the local level, we uh, give out scholarship for students going to college, and we promote literacy and. Um, we contribute to the McAllen Pregnancy Center as well, which mm -hmm. is uh, pro-life. Mm -hmm. So those are just some of the things that uh, we're working on, and that's the reason for us being here yes. with our Market Square. It's and exciting. this is our 11th one wow. in eight years. Wow. In eight, and I'm very fortunate to be part of the ones that started it way back then. That's amazing. So tell us a little bit about what the Market Square is. Well, Market Square is a vendor's market where we have, um, we, well, it's two full or twofold for one. Uh, the community gets to benefit from that because they come in and show their product. Their vendors that may, uh, that uh, produce their product at home, crafts, okay. they don't have a business. There might be people that have a product that they wanna venture out and, and um, have their, uh, form their own business, mm -hmm. but they wanna try it out first and see how it's gonna be accepted in the community. Wow. And at the same time, they help us by donating some uh, a contribution to the Catholic Daughters wow. as well. Uh, right now, we have over 60 vendors. Okay. It is very well um, attended, mm -hmm. and that's why the, the vendors are excited about it, and they sign up the same day that we have it. They're signing up for the next year. Wow, so already we, just we already year. have people in line waiting to mm -hmm. sign up for the next one. That's amazing. Yes, it is. And uh, we have vendors. Uh, I'm amazed at how many vendors come every year. Uh, this uh, this product, uh, this uh, vendor is uh, coming back again, donated this wreath for our raffle. And it's beautiful Christmas wreath. It's yes. gorgeous. We have uh, religious items like okay. this that are handcrafted. Handcra by, uh, yes. Handcrafted Special. was donated for our raffle as well. Wow. We have a designer, a local designer that designs jewelry, mm -hmm. and this is one of hers, and so is this. And yes. uh, people come back just looking for her. We have baptismal gowns, mm -hmm. we have quilting. We have a lady that's 80 years old, and I'm so impressed with her. She makes aprons, wow. so I can hardly wait to see what she's gonna, what her products look like. I'm sure they're meticulous. And we also have a, um, a young woman mm -hmm. that uh, studied at La, um, um, the Cordon Bleu in Austin, okay. she's a chef. Wow. And so she's gonna be displaying her gourmet foods for sampling at oh. our St. Nick Cafe this year. So we want, 
everyone to come in and sample hers and also mm -hmm. maybe be able to order some yes. for their for the holidays of course uh, when you walk into our parish hall it is just transformed you can't tell it is a parish hall where you mm -hmm. once had CCD or you know a religious mm -hmm. ed but it you know you walk in and you smell the 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 aromas for the holidays mm -hmm. like berry and as you walk down the aisles and see the vendors, you also smell the goods that are being cooked by the Catholic daughters. Oh, amazing. Because nothing's too difficult for so, a Catholic daughter. Right. So, so we clean, we cook, oh, and we, we do everything. Amazing. So you're yeah. fully transformed into the holiday spirit. Exactly, yes. Now, where is this going to be held at? At 2201 Martin Avenue okay. at Holy Spirit Church. Okay. We also have uh, St. Nick's Workshop. He yes. has helpers. Else. He's also on demand. A lot of people look for him and to take pictures with the family. This is a family event. Perfect. It's from 9 to 4 on Sunday, November 12th. November 12th. Yes. Great. So you are going to be there, St. Nick, also known as Ricardo Valle. Thank you. Again, I do want to give away your true identity, <laughs> but that's great. So kids, of course, I'm sure run up to you when they're there and they want to see Santa and they want to tell you what they want for Christmas and how, how you know, rewarding is that to kind of see them? Well, it's very exciting for me because, uh, first of all, I'm very happy to help out this beautiful group of ladies uh, carry on with this market uh, days. And I have fun because I'm up in the stage and the kids start coming up and, of course, Santa Claus wants to know whether they've been good or bad. Mm -hmm. Of course, they all tell me they've been good. <laughs> and when I ask them, what do you want for Christmas? You know, here I'm thinking they're going to ask for toys or dolls or marbles. You know, they're coming up with a package that's like a cell phone, an iPad. Oh, my goodness. I think it's so cute because the parents are down there in the bottom saying, no, no, no it's <laughs> like you can't afford it. And it's, oh but it's no. fun, you know. I, I tell the kids, you know, that uh, Santa Claus has a lot of presents that needs to be taken all over the world and that uh, I want to see what I can do. And that's, you know, that's about it. But I enjoy the kids. They're, they're very much fun. That's they're amazing. They're very innocent. Yeah, we also have uh, uh, the elves are going to be there to help um, the children write mm -hmm. letters to St. Nick in case he didn't hear them as mm -hmm. well. So they'll get the opportunity to get that mailed in. And uh, we have cookie decorating by a junior oh, Catholic daughters. Uh, we also have a junior group, and they start ages 6 on through 18. And wow. 18 and over, well, they join the older group. That's so amazing. So it's going to be great. And we also have yard work, um, this place outside. Mm -hmm. Vendors selling uh, birdhouses, benches, um, things made out of marble. We have um, uh, cutting boards. We have uh, just an amazing assortment of in, um, products that are made and reproduce so that uh, people have one of a kind Perfect. type of item. Well, it's going to be a great day. I'm excited to go and see all the wonderful handmade and crafted things that everybody does. And maybe I'll even write a letter to Santa to let him know what I want for Christmas. Sure. That would be great. Thank you so much for coming in today. I really appreciate it. I hope you guys Our have pleasure. a wonderful day. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. All right, folks. Well, thanks so much for joining us on Inside the Valley. We hope you'll tune in next week.